from the very RC when the students command the 14th Flying Training Wing, Columbus Air Force Base, Mississippi, signed Major General Gregory A. Peace, commanding 19th Air Force. First and foremost, I'm a, I'm a man of faith and family. Uh, it's, a, it's been a great pleasure to be reunited with my family after a relatively long time apart, 15 months, which even by today's Air Force standards is, is quite a long deployment, if you will. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm also a leader that will remain focused on the mission and focused on our airmen. Uh, being separated with you in Korea and your, while your family remained in Belgium, what can you tell us about your family and the joy of being united with them in Columbus? Well, to me, uh, I, I guess uh, there's no, no greater joy in life than family, and so uh, I look forward for a very, very long time to being reunited with Nancy and the kids, and uh, with Marie and Sonia and Barry, and in the previous 15 months, and there's been no greater joy than our transition here as a family to Columbus Air Force Base, to be a part of the community, uh, to be a family once again, and to, uh, to focus on family, as I talked about in my vision. Okay. i got one question. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, Colonel, you've obviously having been in Korea and uh, a number of years in the Air Force. You've seen a lot of changes, but I, I think every commander that comes to a training base knows that there are a lot of changes ahead in terms of unmanned aircraft, all of those things. How do you see uh, you and Columbus still fitting into that, into that puzzle as it changes? That's a, that's a great question. I think uh, our Air Force is certainly evolving right now. Uh, remotely piloted aircraft is a growing field and will continue to uh, be a growing field in the, in the near and, and distant future. Uh, near term, and I think even long term, there's always going to be a need for, for manned aircraft. And so uh, Columbus's mission will not go away. Uh, there's also going to be a need for for future placement of RPA training, uh, remotely piloted aircraft training uh, facilities and bases. Uh, I don't know that Columbus will be a part of that, uh, but certainly to me it seems like it would be uh, an ideal place to continue both manned training as well as unmanned training. So uh, that will certainly be something that, uh, given the opportunity, uh, we, would, we would pursue as a base and community. Uh, but I think our mission is going to be around for, for many, many years to come uh, uh, in terms of the manned aircraft and the training that we're going to need to do uh, manned aircraft-wise.